Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today it's time to see how mutation works in React Query and how we can use them to improve our code base. So don't waste time and let's jump in it. The goal of this content is implement the insert of a new to-do in the list. So when a user type a new to-do and submit the form, the application has to call the API and insert the new data and after that uh, refresh the list above. To do that uh, we use uh, use mutation in a React query. I already created a new file called user to do. Inside of this file, we have to implement the business logic for our application. There is a function called post to do that implements the fetch request to add a new to do in the API. And I already created the interface for the result of our user to do hooks. In this case, the hooks return an object with the property called add to do, and this property is a function that accepts one parameter, and this parameter is the title of the to do. So now it's time to implement our mutation. To use the hook, we have to import it from the library. So import from tank stack react query and we have to import use mutation. Now we can use it in our hooks and we can use mutation. Now uh, as a first parameter use mutation want the mutation uh, function. In our case the post uh, to do. And then we can use uh, the result of the, mut the use mutation hooks uh, to map our result. In this case, uh, we can get the mutate uh, property and we can remap the mutate in our uh, variable called add to do, for instance. And then we can return the add to do as a result of our mutation. As you can notice, uh, use mutation is able to understand. Uh, uh, the input and the output of uh, the post to do function. So in this case, use mutation, uh, understand that to do is the result of the mutation and uh, the input is a string, like in the post to do uh, function. Now it's time to use our use hard to do hooks. So inside of the list uh, component, we can call it so const equals to uh, use add to do and we can get the add to do mutation function and inside of the add to do list function we can call add to do and pass the text variable in this case so now it's time to check the result in the browser to check the result, we can go to the browser and type a test, for instance, in the form and submit the form. As you can notice, the application run a post, a post request and create a new resource in, in the API. As you can notice, the, the list doesn't show the new data. So we have to refresh the page to see the new, the new data in the list. Now it's time to see how to fix this uh, mistake using a React query. Use mutation has a different option. One of uh, these options is the on success uh, hooks. This hooks is called when the mutation is finished and uh, its result is OK. Now inside of this uh, hooks, we have to implement a, a logic to invalidate all the, the the data that are not updated after the, the mutation. To do that, we have to use another hooks exposed by React Query. This, this hooks is called use query client. We can import it and we can use it inside of the hooks. So const client and we can call use query client. Now, this client uh, has a method called invalidate queries and accept a list of uh, key that uh, have to to be invalidated after um, the the mutation in this case we can call uh, for instance uh, 
query keys, query key, and we can use to do, for instance. And now we can see the result in the browser. Now, if I type, for instance, test and I submit the form, as you can notice, the application refresh the list above. Okay. There is uh, two uh, stuff uh, to fix uh, in this uh, implementation and we have to fix uh, the toast uh, in the bottom left uh, and uh, implement uh, the um, uh, handle uh, the error if uh, something went wrong during the mutation. Let's start from uh, uh, the, the toast. We can go to our uh, um, list uh, component and we can copy and paste the user snack word hook. And we can put it in our user add to do hooks. We can import use snack bar and then we can use it in our uh, on success um, hook. We can also copy and paste the previous toast and we can put it in the on success, we can fix uh, the the text. For instance, we can uh, we can uh, type uh, to do added, and we can save it. To handle uh, an error, we have another hooks call on error. In this case, we can use it to show another toast. For instance, we can get the error. We can map error message and we can use the map error to get the error for instance now we can use the nq snack bar and we can show a new error for instance we can use error on the add to do and we can show the error message. Perfect. We can change the variant to error. And now we can uh, see the result in the browser. Okay, let's start from uh, the success flow. So if I type for instance test, as you can notice now, we can see the to do added uh, snack bar. If I type another test true and add again, we can see the, the toast in the, in the bottom left. To test the error flow, we can stop the API. So we can go in the API and we can stop uh, them. And then we can, for instance, type uh, test uh, three and press uh, enter. As you can notice, the application show the toast with uh, uh, error on add uh, to do and show the internal server error. Okay, that's all from uh, use mutation. I suppose you have a big picture of how it's work and how you can use it to improve your user experience and your code base in your React application. I hope you enjoy this content and if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.